Hey, this is Eran's turn and welcome back to the ongoing series of duplicating stuff inside After Effects. And this is chapter 3 of our series and in this chapter we will see how we can create a crowd out of just one person. In order to demonstrate it, we will use the same scene that we are keep building and this is what we came up in part 1 and part 2. So we've got our stars arc coming from the sky and couple of pirate ships all driven by a duplicate copy of meshes inside the puppet tool. Okay, so this is what we already built. And now to this scene, I will also add the peace bridge. So let me just drag it on top of everything. And of course, in reality, the peace bridge will connect the United States and Canada, but this is not reality show. This is an After Effects show, so we can do whatever we like. Anyway, this is a picture of the peace bridge. And on top of the bridge, I want to create a group of dancers. And in order to create ourselves a group of dancers, a flock of them actually, we'll use this dancer small dot mov. So first I want to show you what this video looks like. So I will hold down Alt or Option and double click this video layer and press zero in order to generate a RAM preview. And some of you may remember this video. This is Yuval, my brother, from the Tornado Text tutorial. And he's just dancing around. And I just put a blue tint on top of him and we will use this video which is already on an alpha channel meaning that we have transparent pixels at the background so we will use this video and we will close the footage window let's just drag the dancer small on top of our scene and we will place it somewhere over here and of course we will need to scale it down and make sure that we will duplicate a lot of copy that will simulate a group of dancers that's just standing on top of this bridge. But in order to work in a little bit more of an organized fashion, I will select both layers and go under layer and choose pre-compose. I will rename this new composition to dancers on the bridge. We will of course move all attributes into the new composition and make sure to mark the open new composition option and say OK. Now we can just see those two elements and I will also toggle the transparency back so we can get a sense of where is the background. One thing to note right now is that our dancer footage is longer than the comp duration. You can see here that the delta here for our dancer is 8 seconds, while our comp is only 5 seconds long. Just bear this in mind and we will use this information very soon. Okay, now what we want to do is actually take our dancer small and convert it into a 3D layer. And the reason that we want to do it is because we want to imitate the perspective of the bridge that you see here. What I will do now is press S in the keyboard and also Shift R, which will reveal the scale and the rotation, of course also the orientation properties of the layer. First let's change the scale values from 100% to 30%. This will of course make our dancer very small and we can of course zoom in inside in order to see it a little bit better. Now we have to put it on the right place and this I guess will be the right place for Yuval to stand on and of course you can also drag it over here and place it somewhere I think over this at the left corner of the screen now of course we need also to change the orientation or the rotation values but we will do so after we will add our effect and the effect that we will use here is under the stylize menu and the name is CC Repetile. And the CC Repetile effect will basically duplicate the footage itself and will expand it to the right or to the left. In order to prove it to you, I will start to change the value of the expand right and you see that we've got ourselves a duplicate of Yuval that keeps duplicating at the right end of this video. 
So now while we have enough copies, I think that we can go back to the X and the Y rotation and give ourselves a few correction here in order to respect the perspective of the shot. So let's start with changing the Y rotation and I will just start to scrub it. I think something around minus 25 and then I will start to change the X rotation until I will place Yuval on top of the bridge itself. And these are my values. We might need to change them and we will see while we continue to duplicate this CC repertile effect. So let's move back, let's zoom back and continue to drag this effect and you can hold down shift so it will be a little bit quicker until we have enough copy and I will stop somewhere here. My value is 2857, but of course you will get different values with your own footage. And then you can zoom back again and just make sure that you got the right perspective and if not, just change it until you see that it is connected to the plane that you need. Okay, so zooming back and what we want to do now is just create a quick run preview because I want to illustrate that this effect is of course duplicating the same all over again. So it will look a little bit strange because all of the copies of course do the same thing over and over again. And if you do it with more than one actor, then your chance to success a little bit higher. But since I'm working with only this one image, this one actor, I need to fool our audience a little bit. So there are a couple of things to do so. First, there's the tiling options. Instead of repeat, you can check other options such as checker flip horizontal, which will basically flip one of the copies. So you've got yourself a negative copy. And in this case, I think that I will stick with this because it's very funny. It looks like a group of dancers that they are syncing with their dancing or whatever they're doing. And it's very good. What else you can do? You can, of course, come back to the layer. And remember that we have more footage on the layer. So now you can basically take this layer and duplicate the whole layer with the effect. And for the second layer, I will switch back to repeat. Now what I'm going to do is isolate the position properties and maybe change the Z of the second layer. And of course I have to nudge it a few pixels down. So now I've got myself a different copy, but I can also drag the layer on the timeline to start from another point. So it will look like a different variation of the same effect. And of course you have to play with it. So this is one solution. And of course you can repeat this solution over and over again. Another option is to duplicate the layers and then right click on the layer and from the time menu choose to time reverse layer. This will of course play the layer from the end to the start, meaning in reverse. But because this is just a dancing, it will again give us another variation. So you can of course nudge this variation again if you need to. You can isolate the position and maybe just, you know, put it in a different location. Of course, you can nudge it a little bit down or maybe to the back. And then again, you have to play with it, but you see where I'm going with this. So now if I create a second RAM preview, we can see that we have a little bit of variation in our dancers. Again, they are all coming from the same footage, but since we duplicate them and move them around, it's becoming to look like a believable crowd. And of course, you need to work on it a little bit more. But for the sake of this podcast tutorial, I will stop right here and I will add a few more elements in order to really sell this composition inside the parent composition. First thing we need to do is take the bridge layer, the piece bridge, and put it on front of everything so it will hide our dancers and everything will work beautiful because it's got the alpha channel on it. And now I want to maybe add a light and also blur these dancers over here at the far end. So let's start with the light. Let's go under layer and choose to add a new light. And we will use a point light with the intensity of 100%. We don't need to cast shadows here, so you can choose OK. And just place this light where you want the light of the actors to be a little bit more obvious. 
This is again a question of where you see it correctly and since there is no lights here and a little bit more lights over here in the original picture of this peace bridge, I think that the light should be somewhere over here. And you can see of course if we will zoom in a little bit that these dancers are getting more light than the other that you know are getting a little bit far behind and in the dark. Okay, let's zoom back out. Now I want to give the illusion of depth of field, so we need to blur the dancers that are far away from us. So let's go under layer and create ourselves a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer I will choose the pen tool and somewhere I think from here we will do our mask from here until the end. It doesn't need to be precise, it just have to define an area. Something like this should work perfectly. Now, because we have a mask, if we'll go under effect and under blur and sharp and choose the fast blur effect and play with it, we can see that we're getting the blur effect just inside our mask. But we don't want it to be so hard, so maybe going back to the area of around four or maybe three pixels, now let's select our adjustment layer, hit F in order to reveal the mask feather properties and change the feather properties to a higher value so our blur, our depth of field will blend in very nicely. And of course you can do whatever you like and I think that I might want to maybe change my mask a little bit so I will only get the sense of the blurriness going something like this maybe from this point until the end and I think that this is where I will stop and of course you can also check with a higher value see how far and how blurriness you want it to be so in my case I will go with five values in the blurriness and this is it for the dancers on the bridge so we can close this comp and it will bring us back into our main comp and now you see everything is working together so now we've got ourselves the bridge the dancers and everything is duplicating of course in our scene including the boats and the stars that we did earlier so let's move on to full screen and i will create for you the ramp preview so you will see where we are now so as you can see our scene is starting to build itself together. Now we have a couple of examples how you can use the duplication method inside After Effects and create yourself more of the same thing. But we are far from over. There is another two episodes to this series and in the next one I will show you a really cool method how to use the clone tools inside the paint module of After Effects to create very unique and fun animation and in the end session we will also duplicate couple of the buildings that we can hardly see back there. So until next time I leave you with the nice pirate ships, falling stars arc and a group of Hasidim dancing on the bridge probably singing Mashiach, Mashiach, Mashiach. That's all for this part, but wait, there's more. Before I wave goodbye, I want to show you this short clip. If you want to learn how to create such an animation yourself, then wait no more. Go now to the cow store and order your own copy of my latest DVD, Motion Design with After Effects. Not sure yet? Well, check my renewed website, it's now available in English too. Browse to products and you can also view a few samples from this DVD exclusively. Make sure to drop also a line or two at my new blog as well. I'll see you in the next part and until then this is Eran Stern for creativecow.net saying goodbye.